Good morning. As always, uh, the second quarter of uh, 2021 was a very interesting uh, time period uh, for South African fixed income. Firstly, if we think about the uh, global environment, it was still a, a very conducive environment uh, for South African fixed income. Yes, we saw inflation go up in developed markets. Uh, we saw that the central banks started to react where they said, well, inflation is, is quite transitory. They're not too worried about it, and they're continuing with the asset purchases and QE programs, especially the, the Fed and the uh, ECB was very vocal when they said, look, the market can say what it wants about inflation. They're going to keep on doing their QE. And that obviously supported uh, fixed income markets in emerging markets like ourselves. And we've seen quite good returns from the fixed income markets uh, in South Africa. So uh, let's just think that over the last year, inflation was around 3.5% in South Africa. Cash returned you about 4%. So you had real returns from cash. Uh, credit or the enhanced yield uh, market probably returned around 6%. Then we had nominal bonds, which probably returned closer to 15%. And the winner over the last year was uh, inflation bonds, quite surprisingly, um, around six, nearly 16% return. Can you believe it? That um, when was the last time that in South Africa we basically got more than inflation plus 10 from the South African markets. You know that if you looked at my videos over the last few quarters, you would have uh, remembered that I was very positive on South African fixed income. That really hasn't changed. Um, while I'm sitting here now at the end of, of quarter two, we still think there's very good real returns from South African fixed income uh, to be had for investors. Maybe not the 14 and 15 or 16 percent returns, but definitely good returns. So we still think that um, over the next year or so that uh, cash could return us uh, around 4%. Yes, the Saab may start hiking the rates uh, in, in the first quarter of, of 2022. But look, it, it's still the jury still out there. If that would happen, we think that the enhanced yield market would probably give you around a 5 to 6% return. And then still our two favorite asset classes remain the duration asset classes. So we think that nominal bonds could anywhere return anywhere from around 7.5% to 9%, to and very similar for inflation bonds that, yes, inflation has risen, there's an inflation carry in the market, but you could easily return 75 to 9% uh, from inflation bonds as well. There are still our two preferred asset classes. We still think that um, investors should have uh, exposure to duration assets in South Africa because they are very cheap. We think the risk is still lower in these markets. Um, is there a winner between nominal bonds and inflation in bonds? We can't tell you at this point in time. What we do say to clients is that we think you should not just sit in cash. It doesn't make sense when cash yields are at 4% and inflation is rising to, to 4 and 5%. You're basically going backwards on a, on a real basis. You're losing earning power in your money if you have returns below inflation. We think it makes sense to sit in, in the high duration asset classes, which are sitting at this 7 or 8, 9% uh, returns. Um, we don't want to pick a, a curve. What we are saying is please have uh, exposure to, to cash, to credit, nominal bonds, and inflation bonds uh, in your portfolios. But be wary of, of credit. We think that there's some areas of risk, especially in the lower parts of credit. But as an overall, we still believe that South African fixed income looks very attractive and it should be a, a portion in your portfolio or your investment funds. And we're looking forward to, to some uh, very decent real and nominal returns from our asset class over the next year or more. Thank you.